The Madness continues with Wavy versus Wisty, a 20-minute best-of-one format that tests the mental of these 1v1 players. We have seen a couple very interesting matches so far, I would say, and we continue with a quarterfinal between Wavy and Wisty. We actually have two Brazilians already in the top four of this west side of the bracket that includes North America and Sam. And if Wisty were able to take down Wavy, it would actually be 100% of the Brazilian players who signed up in the top four playing on US East. It, it, it would not be a great sign for the Americans, but they have their defender, their 1v1 Captain America, as he will save on the goal line and force Wisty to come back. Again, he could wait 19 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he could wait 19 minutes. Who, a battle of wills between Wisty and Wavy. <laughs> Are they, do they just want to play a shorter game? The ball just is going to fall in. <laughs> oh my goodness. A 1 0 lead. <laughs> Zero kilometer per hour goal. Wisty was not coming back. And the first minute is off the clock. And Wavy has the lead. Wavy is going to have a 2-0 lead. As I was saying, Wavy has been playing some of his best 1v1 recently. As he takes down tournament after tournament. He was on the rise towards the end of Salt Mine. That was when he made his first breakout performance, I would say. He started showing how he competes with the top. At the top, I think he was top four finish in there. Might even be higher now in North America as that rise continued. It didn't just stop at top four. Could be looking at a top three, top two player over in North America. As Wisty able to get a save. Wavy has been able to mercy rule an opponent already. If I didn't mention it before, 15 goals. If either one of the players gets 15 goals up, the game ends. We do not wait out the 20 minutes. We show mercy on the person who is behind. Wavy in his first round was able to get that mercy rule. I think we've seen it used once or twice as Wisty gets a demo. The biggest comeback we've seen erased, or sorry, the biggest lead we've seen erased is, is 10, maybe 11. Uh, but as far as I'm aware in chat, you guys have been watching the whole tournament. Let me know if you remember one. Is there been one that has finished off and been a full comeback? The, the reason why I say 10 goals have been you know, come back from is that the, the scoreline has been tied, but then that player ended up losing anyways uh, after bringing it back. So I do think that's set at 10. Does anybody still have a perfect bracket? The Brazilian fans probably do. You know, there's enough Brazilian fans who filled it out. So there's a good chance they had the two Brazilians out of the upper side of the bracket. And, you know, they probably also had Wisty if they were betting on the Brazilians. If this is your first time watching a Brazilian play a North American, it happens on US East because Sam is so used to uh, needing to basically queue up for high level lobbies on US East that they'll play with 128 ping and not be too unfamiliar with it. And so that is what Wisty is gonna do here. Gonna try and beat Wavy who's on 16 ping to his 128. And as you can see, so far, he is on track to doing so. Up 4-2. And we'll make it 5-2. The power of two pings. Wisty. Testing one after winning another kickoff. Wavy's going to slow down here. 100 boost to work with. A little delayed flick is slightly wide as he dunks to 50, but he has Wisty starved out. He will take a dive into his corner, take the 100, keep him starved. Wisty actually went out to midfield to grab 100 and ended up getting scored on. I actually need to get water. <laughs> we had to get this going really quick. So chat, you guys commentate for the next 30 or so seconds.
Great work. Great work, guys. An own goal. Wisty with the own goal. Wait, did he actually own goal? <laughs> Wait, I stepped away. I stepped away, but chat is all spamming Wisty with the own goal as they commentate. <laughs> so I'm going to have to assume there was an epic own goal. A passing play own goal. Wavy tying up the game. Wisty just spent 20 seconds turtling and then own gold. I, I don't think that's true, right? I was looking at all the commentating. No one was talking about turtling. Somebody spam L challenge Wisty. <laughs> Imagine if that's how I commentated. Would that be better? Would you guys enjoy that more? W kickoff. Oh, W kickoff Wisty. He's going to have a good chance here. Yes, <laughs> yes, I'd enjoy it actually. W fake challenge from Wavy. Mm, dropped the dribble. That's an L dribble. L dribble from Wavy there. Ended up handing over possession. Wisty now with her with a mid attack, I would say. But a W50 keeping the ball in the blue corner. Wisty, can he get his half dash? Ooh, W save, recover save. <laughs> From Wisty. Please stop. Wait, you don't like it? <laughs> Chat, you guys asked for it. <laughs> Such mixed reviews. Wisty. Not going to be able to find anything off the back wall. Really go for these full field dribbles like his fellow Brazilian in Diaz. It seemed like he never really undercut the ball at all. He just wanted to take it across his net, which feels like an undesirable thing to do and I think it's one of the reasons why those back wall air dribbles you know became a thing players wanted to avoid that so much or just bringing the ball down at all they just took it the whole length of the field these guys are back and forth in the midfield Wavy has a clear boost advantage as Wisty's gonna have to leave to grab a hundred now a delayed flick. No, it's a fake. Wisty has the save. It has been a big fight for this goal. One of the longest droughts of scoring. Maybe he might have had an opportunity, but he was so prioritized of getting to the other side to grab boost. Now can he get this double? Soft touch. Not for a second he actually might have found the angle. Instead, it'll be a Wisty goal. Go back to Gen Z commentating. No, I'm going to leave the Gen Z commentating to you guys. You guys are doing a great job. Wisty is the guy who has played on my channel a ton. I think this is giving a lot of a spotlight to maybe some ones players that other people haven't seen before. But there's a lot of strong talent all the way through the tournament. I think Wisty... Is one of those strong talents. He can prove that today with a win over Wavy, especially considering the form that Wavy has been in. Is Wavy able to get his sixth? Wisty, a kickoff goal converted. So he's able to lob the ball on target. 8 6 as we are into our pseudo game number two. Wisty looking to extend the lead more. Wall to air dribble on the kickoff. The reset is crossbar down and follow up -able. It might not be in, but it doesn't bounce away. And he already sent Wavy out to the midfield, so he's not going to have any trouble getting back around the ball. What do you think of the Skibbity Sigma Gyat Phantom Tax Grimace Shake Ice Spice Rizzler? Did I just have an aneurysm? Wavy. <laughs> first time chatter moment. Hey, we love the first time chatters here. Even if we don't understand their lingo. Wavy. Able to flick around as probably the biggest lead we've seen so far today in this game. I shouldn't say so far today. We've seen 
We didn't see a Mercy Rule. Other other streams saw Mercy Rules. We saw 14 as the biggest lead we've seen on our stream. Wisty. Going to take this to his back corner. Or no, not his back corner. He's going to go to the midfield, which is greedy. Because, yeah, you're not going to be able to get a clean possession that way. Wavy will catch up, and he actually just takes the ball away. Wisty in and out to make the save. And now stuck with zero boost with Wavy looking to force a mistake. Soft flick, and that's actually going to be enough when you starve out the defender as much as Wavy did. Wavy able to prevent this from being a kickoff opportunity. Power shots saved with ease. Wavy trying, or sorry, Wavy successfully challenging. Wisty trying to set up a bounce of a shot deep in the corner. Just not really playing with the party urgency that he would need to prevent Wavy from being able to set up in defense and make the right save. You should make them play until statistical significance. I mean, wouldn't that be like insanely long? Isn't technically statistical significance going to be like a humongous amount of time? <laughs> Is 20 not enough? 20 minutes. With the reset shot saved by Wavy. As he sends it high. Can Wavy regain the lead? It's been a while with Wisty in the game. Wisty in that save. Oh, the counterattack. It is Wisty back in the lead. They will just put the save onto the back wall. Quick air roll to recover inside the net and flying back out for the counterattack. Delay kickoff from Wisty. Maybe didn't go as well as he would have liked. Now Wavy off the ceiling with a challenge. He will reset again for the midfield. Oh, what a save from Wisty. I was going to say, just a delayed 50 for Wavy to get a goal. But man, Wisty just popped off to get that save. Unfortunately, when it costs you all your boosts and you're heavily out of position, oftentimes <laughs> somebody does get back. Someone said Rizzy save. <laughs> Listen, I know a little bit about the league. I don't even think that makes sense. <laughs> I think you're forcing it. Wavy. A dribble around the field to get an 11th goal. As he will take the lead. It's been back and forth. Can he evade the bump pressure? He can. Can he get the ground pinch? He will. Doesn't even need a strong one. As Wavy really went all in trying to get the demo. And, oh, missed his wave dash. I was wondering why he was nowhere close. He, he didn't even seem to prioritize recovering straight back. Approaching halftime. Neither player has used their timeout. And neither player really has a desperate need to, I would say. No huge run for either one of them. Wavy, what a great read of the play here on this bounce dribble. Not taking it early as Wisty playing incredibly passive, forcing him to do this awkward dance in net where he turns out and shows another shadow again, basically completely stopping all momentum he has defensively and, and putting him in the worst possible spot then taking the shot instead of just playing into Wisty's early uh, retreats. As Wavy will follow up with a kickoff goal, 13-11. That is just how this is going to go. Waves back and forth of momentum. It seemed like for a moment there, early on, Wisty was almost pulling away. But still... Of the matches we've had in the Madness so far, one of the closer ones. If the three goal lead is going to be the biggest lead the whole time. Big challenge from Wisty. Gets Wavy to drop the ball. 
And now a little shove as Wisty trying to grab possession. Can he get any, though? Maybe puts a flick on target. I think it just was that a save and was it not credited as one? I don't know how it would have bounced out, but it didn't have the right trail, it looked like, and didn't have a credited save. Wisty going to back off, allow Wavy to grab the midfield 100. Another mix-up on Wavy's setup. This time, Wisty does not sit and wait. He's not going to allow Wavy to throw him off his game. He figures it's a better, it's better than, better than sitting back is to just go and dive. I might get beat as well, but it's much, much worse to have to try and sit and react. Wisty too straight. He's tied the game. How is the server determined? Can you believe that the South Americans just giga chat and play on 132 ping? and make it seem like we're on the fair server. What if I told you? Wavy. Not quite able to make it 14. But we'll continue to pin Wavy back. Wisty doesn't get past him. The half flip save still collides with the post. Wisty first touch. Not the best. In fact, it's going to force him to retreat into the back corner. Has a chance to start again, and he will go for an air dribble. All the way from the back left. Reset on the goal line. The lead. Back to Wisty. Wavy. Dunking over the top of a delayed challenge, or sorry, a delayed kickoff, I should say. Although technically it is just a predetermined challenge, I guess. Not allowing Wisty to score on his antics. Shot. It's crossbar and out. Wisty just going to use a little bit of boost to score it, and he does. I think Wavy is expecting him to back off and not try and play this one. But instead, Wisty just does a little jump and soft touch to put it underneath Wavy. Wave dash kickoff could be an immediate goal. That shot is off target, though, and does not pick up Wisty's corner boost. Wisty's making sure to get down to the opposite corner boost quickly. Now he's got himself a bit of room. Pop up, Wavy. Will it intercept? Midfield boost spawns perfectly for him. Didn't get that side for flick that he wanted, I don't think. Just he denied on his bounce dribble hook shots. Maybe not allowing him to. Apparently, Wisty scored an own goal in the moments I was gone getting water. Seemed like maybe there could have been a moment for that again, but no, he was in control. We approach the final five minutes. Wavy going to tie it up. As with pretty much every tournament I run, first couple rounds, those ones you don't know how players are playing in the day. You don't know if they're going to be ready to perform. You see some slightly one-sided matchups. But once you get into the winner's portion of the bracket, no matter who's playing, it always seems to go down to the wire. And... Wisty and Wavy right now is the two seed versus Chat. Can you guys go figure it out for me? I think Wisty was technically an upset according to your guys' seeding in the first round. Or no. no the only upset was... Was it Wisty Zapatos? No, it wasn't. You guys got to remember for me. I don't have the bracket open right now. I think you guys correctly see Wisty in the top eight. Wavy. Oh, what? What is that save? What is that save? He only had to do it because of a mistake, I think, in the first place. But that was an unbelievable save to keep this game tied. And now a follow-up for the lead. My goodness, Wavy. The quick thinking. 
the control, the calmness in net to be able to make that play. And will these guys use the timeout as we approach the final game? You know, the final minutes. Or sorry, not minute, but five minutes. The amount of time everyone's used to playing. That's when they've started to use the timeouts. I've seen the most frequent timeout is around the five to six minute mark. As somebody wants to get a breather and then play the game they were used to playing to finish off. But these guys almost seem insistent on just playing 20 minutes straight of Rocket League. Wavy. A little soft jump. Wave dash to power shot. And he's got himself a one goal lead. Wavy with the wavy dash. <laughs> yeah, fun fact, guys. Did you know that the wave dash was named after wavy? He was the first to do it. Oh my goodness, another insane save. Makes the first save, lands on the inside of his net, and uses it to jump down and make the next save. W Recovery is great commentating from chat. They are absolutely correct on that one. As Wavy forced off the ball and has to drive away from Wisty here. He's going for a full field pinch and it just might be on target. No, it's just a bit high. Wisty drops the OMG. He feels robbed. As Wavy sets up a hook shot off the back wall. And in three, two, one, welcome to just a regular game of 1v1 now, you could argue. But Wavy's gonna start up two. Wisty dropping the no, chat dropping the no with him. Oh, what a kickoff read from Wavy. Wisty mixing it up. Wavy almost shooting it directly into the net. Sees Wisty close in the distance between them and looks to get some separation by getting a powerful touch out to the midfield. Wisty never caught back up. It is a three goal lead, which I think matches the biggest lead we've seen in the entire series so far. Somebody said it. Is there a timeout? Oh, wait, he did say timeout. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, did I miss that chat? Did I, did I, I choked, I choked, I choked, I choked. I choked. I choked. <laughs> I choked. <laughs> I choked. All right. All right. All right. That's a great timeout. That's a great timeout. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how did I not see that? Uh, I choked. I choked. I choked. Um, okay. Here. Let's go. We do have the timeout counting down. Did we give it a couple seconds and restart from kickoff. Um, but... Two minutes, two minutes. I'll let you know. <laughs> I thank, thank goodness you guys were spamming W timeout. Because I was like, yeah, this would be a good time to call a timeout. <laughs> he probably should. Oh, he did. Oh, I just choked. I just choked. No surprise. Guys, believe it or not, it is a bit tough to... Uh... Oh, sorry. That's not the song we want either. Just more choking. We got to go to the timeout song. New Fear misses timeouts. No chance old new fear misses this. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're in the new new fear era. Oh no, imagine. Choke Maxine? Okay, chill. <laughs> chill, chat. Holy. <laughs> fear is choke maxing is a crazy thing to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. 30 seconds. Ready? Wisty is ready. Wavy is ready. All right. 15 seconds. We got five, four, three, two, one, and we unpause. We are back. I may have choked Max a second ago, but we return with five minutes left to go. 
and a wall to air dribble for Wavy. Wavy does not score on this attempt. Wisty will not take his air dribble. I heard that the Brazilians in earlier rounds used their timeout in the final seconds and did so almost slightly to troll, although I think Diaz was trolling himself. <laughs> Diaz made a big mistake. Wisty's timeout does not necessarily seem to be paying off as now the biggest lead we've seen all game long at four goals, 20 to 16. Wavy, the soft jump. He's just trying to force it in slowly. He's gonna make it five. Wisty has four minutes. He has time to regain, but this slow play is paying off for Wavy. And the kickoff gave him a moment as well. Wave dash kickoff, the bump leads to the boost grab. Couldn't get the demo though, and actually Wisty grabbed the corner boost. Wavy's gonna bump him off. And we'll head to the back corner. Wavy. Losing this 50 in the blue half, couldn't chase down the demo. So Wisty does pick up the 100. He'll back off now. Wavy will flick into his control. As Wisty, the double jump, he needed to stay grounded. I don't think Wavy was really threatening, but Wisty is feeling the nerves maybe here late. If he could have stayed grounded, I think he would have had a much better possession. Now instead, it's Wavy in control. Bounce dribble, he wants a double. No. Wisty gets a perfect spawn in the back corner boost, but his air dribble does not lead anywhere. Wavy is not gonna take a wall to air dribble late. We saw early on in this game, Wavy wasted the whole first minute by keeping the ball on the goal line. Now, really do some time wasting late. He's gonna continue to extend the lead. The timeout, I think, did not help. It's been 1916, I believe, was when the timeout was called. And since then, it's been three more goals for Wavy. Finally able to separate in a game that has truly been about as close as it gets for the majority of the time on the clock. But Wisty has yet to give it up. Air dribble bump denied. Wavy looking for the long distance flick. Wisty has to save and Wavy actually slowed down there, I think. See if he could get a bump as well as a demo steal. He didn't just, or sorry, a boost steal. He did just have to steal that top left corner from Wisty. Now onto another dribble, Wisty backflip. He is getting aggressive as the two other Brazilians in the tournament so far made it into the top four of the West. Wavy trying to hold it down for the Americans. He's got himself a bit of cushion to do so. OPXC, they gave the tier one for two months. I appreciate it. Will the sub inspire Wisty? That's the question though, and he's just gonna call GG's. GG's. Um, I don't think you call GG's and uh, still score, so we are gonna end it here. GG's. Wavy, 22, Wisty, 16. Thanks for playing. What a run.